So welcome now to module four, and we start module four off a little different. Here's where things are going to actually kind of uh, change up a, a second. We're getting into something known as Microsoft Access. Now, Microsoft Access, that's that word that you've heard about and you've never really danced with it, you're, you know, you're interested. Uh, the one thing I have to give you as a sort of just heads up, uh, Microsoft Access sucks. Uh, the reason why is because what we are introducing is something called databases. Now, a database basically runs our world. Everything that we uh, do, everything that we work on, you know, being a student here at Cape Fear Community College, uh, your bank account, everything is stored in a database. And it's a little bit more of coming, you know, that man behind the curtain, you know, the exact same thing that we saw with Microsoft Excel. We started to see, you know, oh, hey, you know, there's mathematical formulas. We have to do these in a specific way. The same thing starts to happen with databases. We're starting to kind of manipulate our data, so we have to be a little bit more careful with how we kind of present it. That way the computer kind of understands what we're saying when we ask a question. And so we do have to kind of be a little more mindful of what we're doing uh, on the database. Why I mention this is that we have to actually kind of plan ahead uh, and as such uh, I want you guys to plan ahead for your assignments. Uh, on average what I hear students saying as the uh, SAM assignments for Microsoft Access take roughly an hour to an hour and a half and that's even the people who already, you know, they're, they're computer people and they're probably not even watching this YouTube video, it's going to take them time to do these uh, assignments. So go ahead and plan ahead. Don't wait until Sunday to start on these because you're not going to finish them, which means you're going to get zeros on those assignments. Now, the other little note about that, because it's so hard, because it's, you know, taxing, the one thing I want to point out is that a lot of the assignment, a lot of the work that you're going to do, it's more along the lines of showing you kind of the back end, showing you, you know, kind of what the IT people are doing uh, on their side of things. Now, what that means is Microsoft Access will not be on the Module 4 exam. Let me repeat that. Microsoft Access will not be on the module for exam. What that means is we get to PowerPoint, we get to integration. Yes, those will be on this module for exam. Access is not going to be on the module for exam. So that might sound a little weird, might little sound a little wonky for you, but you still have to remember. You still have homework assignments. Each one of those is still 1.25% of your grade. So if you don't do any of them, that's 6% of your final grade that you're just throwing away because it's not going to be on the exam. So yes, you do still have to do these things. Yes, you still have to go through the song and dance of uh, you know hating it just for a little bit, only for two weeks, because as soon as we finish up uh, Microsoft Excel, or Access, right after we finish Access, we move into Microsoft PowerPoint, and then we get into integration. And then, well, you might find out that we're right around that time for the final. So, you got enough time, knock it out. I think you guys will see, it's actually kind of fun. It's, uh, it's really interesting uh, to work on databases. So, best of luck.